Welcome to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. Today, we're going to talk about the Bomb NATO Disaster Shelter. This is a shelter that you actually put into the concrete foundation of a new house being built. It is not designed to go out into the backyard, just to make that clear. Hey guys, I'm Ron Hubbard from Atlas Survival Shelters. Welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. And we're looking at the original bomb NATO prototype that we have here in Los Angeles still. So let's take a peek inside the door. So this is a double bunk bed that actually folds up against the wall. And on the other side, we have a folding couch that turns out into a bed. So let's go inside. Let me show you how this works. So I lift up here and the beds will actually fold up against the wall. Um, I actually have storage underneath the floor. So there's two foot of storage underneath all the floors if you make it into a bomb shelter. If you turn it into a movie theater, uh, we don't have that two foot of storage. This is the American made air filtration system. The way the shelter works, you have a hatch hidden under the floor in the house. So up in your house, you would look up and you would see that hatch right there. You open the hatch, you come down the ladder like this. So you come down the steps. These are non-skid treads. When you get to the bottom of the ladder, if you want to remove the ladder and store it away, it's got these little hooks right here. So you can lift up on the ladder and store it away so it's not in the way of the bunker while you're down there. So let's put the bunk bed back down. Okay, so up in the walls, I have these brackets welded in here so you can hang stuff from the ceilings like lights or bunks or just anything you want to hang. And this little light right here is a magnetic light that I bought that just sticks up to the wall, this directional lighting. On the other side, I've got a full full scale fluorescent light in there. Uh, these pictures here show a Japanese installing the bunker um, in Japan. Uh, they dig a hole. They put it down in the hole. The contractors go down inside the shored up hole. Uh, they put in the bunker. They pour in the concrete. And this shows pictures of a guy working inside the bunker, hooking everything up. And then, of course, here's the client in Japan in the bunker afterwards. So back to the bunker here. So this is a, an American-made air filtration system that we don't use the bellow anymore. Now we use a hand crank. But the way this air system works, the air pipes go up to the surface there. Uh, the air comes in there. It comes down this four inch pipe, goes through a HEPA and a carbon filter. And then the overpressure goes back to this valve up here in the middle of the screen right there, the one on the right. This video here shows us installing a bomb NATO on a new house being built. You know, I won't mention what state, but uh, uh, before he's going to build a house. So he dug the hole. The shelter is going to be put in. You need the excavator to assemble the shelter. It comes out in two halves like this. So you'll pick up the top half and you'll swivel it around and then you'll bolt it down and you'll weld the seam so it's watertight. Now, when we ship into Japan, we can get two or three of them on a flatbed. So this shows a flatbed with actually three bunkers, two bomb NATOs and one NATO safe. You actually will tarp them afterwards so they don't get uh, any salt water on them because they're going to ship on the very top of the cargo ship on the exterior. Here's the client in Japan receiving his bomb NATO. So let's finish up inside the bunker here. It's got very high ceilings. Now I'm six foot three inches. So when I reach up to the ceiling right here, I can't even touch it. So it's got nine foot ceilings with the floors in and 11 foot ceilings with the floors out. So when you turn it to a movie theater, it really does have the high ceilings. So here it is. It shows it as a movie theater uh, with this great acoustics. And if you guys really want to get crazy, you can turn it anything you want, like a party room with stripper poles, <laughs> you know, but like I said, it's your own fantasy room. You can do it whatever you want with this shelter. Uh, your imagination is only the limit, but you know, just having a bomb shelter or fallout shelter just seems like it's a waste when you can turn it to a usable room. So uh, you guys use your imagination uh, and keep in mind, these things start under $20,000. So they're not that expensive anymore. We've brought the price down a lot because we mass produce them. But when you get a chance, watch my Billy Bomb Proof channel. It's really funny. And uh, again, thanks for watching this episode of Atlas Survival Shelters called Pimp My Bunker. New episodes come out every week, so make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.